District solo and ensemble competition is the Saturday right after spring break. <sighs> but wait, there's no OTC classes for Monday, March 19th, Friday, the March 23rd. What? Really? Yeah, and the FFA leadership conference is on Monday, March 20th. Well, that makes me really happy. It means everything's gonna be just fine. The world's going pretty good right now. What? Jim. What? Jim. Are we really doing this whole bit again? I need to tell you something. What is it? Thursday night, March 22nd, is trivia night from 6 to 9. <sighs> no! My goals this year for the girls track team is to run hard and turn left at every meet. We have a lot of our sprint relays returning that qualified for state and so I'm excited about um, filling in those holes and getting those relays going and actually our whole team is going to be pretty good. Our girls track team is going to have a great Great season. It keeps me in shape for football. High jump, long jump, and triple jump. The 4x4 and the 4x8, the mile and the 2 mile, and the best one is the high jump. The is really a crazy meep, meep. When will he learn that he never can mow him down? Meep, meep. You can bring up your grades before the end of the quarter. Um, you can talk to your teacher about what you can do to improve your grades. Um, we all want to help you be successful, and maybe you can do some extra credit. Mrs. Robinson holds a computer lab open every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon in her room. I hold the computer lab open in my room every morning before school, starting about 7 to 7.15. And then each evening after school, the middle lab will be opened by someone trying to do credit recovery. Students can come into the library during lunchtime if you have an assignment or a project or a book report that you need to work on. Ha! Uh, hey! 
Yeah. yeah. Soon as I enter, you know who it is, sir. This the representative from the east side of Atlanta. That's known as the. And now I would definitely like to have gone further, but I'm proud of my team and how far we've come. I look forward to getting back at Catholic. Uh, hey. yeah. I'm looking forward to stepping up and kicking butt and then bonding with Sean Morrow. Ha. I wanna go to college for the rest of my life. If you haven't started filling out your free application for federal student aid, now is the time to do it. All seniors need to have it completed online by March 31st because that is Missouri's state deadline. You need to have your uh, copies of your income tax statement um, along with some other documents and you can find those on the FAFSA.gov website. You have a PIN number and your parent will have a PIN number. You need to write those down, keep up with those. You can change it to something that's easier for you to remember, but that's the PIN number that you'll need each year because every year you have to file the FAFSA thing. If for some reason you have um, major income changes after you file the FAFSA, say like if a parent dies or loses a job or any other extreme um, change to your income that you reported, you need to contact the financial aid office officer at your individual school immediately. Scholarships, the ones that are available right now, are the MFA Foundation, the Tony Roper Memorial, David and Patricia Terry Memorial Scholarship, and O'Bannon Banking. They're all due this Friday here in our office. Eric, why did I come to you live from a beach, of course? <laughs> That's where I am. We're basically going around asking people what doing for spring break. Like this sir right here. Excuse me, what are you doing for spring break? Well, I'm about to beat and try to find my beach ball shaped like this. I think it went that way. Shaped like this and it's going now. Sir, I believe your beach ball's right here, but he's going to beach. Oh, That's nice. Let's see what someone else is doing. Sir, excuse me, what are you doing for spring break? I am going to Mexico. Doing anything special in Mexico? Yeah, probably going to beach. Going on beach on Mexico. That's fantastic. This is Eric Winder, and this is your spring break. He said, son, have you seen the world? Okay, you are a 2009 graduate. How many years did you attend Fair Grove? I attended uh, three years, my sophomore year. Uh, in high school, what activities or clubs were you involved with? Um, I did SAD for a little while. I did track and field and football and weightlifting, if you want to call that activity. How do you think that these activities prepared you for the Army? Getting to know the guys beside you, like family, uh, became your brothers. Um, you guys all worked hard together, and that, that pays off over there. What, would you, what advice would you give to someone who's considering the Army? Do as much as you can. Uh, don't... It's all about how hard you work and everything. It's all about those little things that you do up until that very moment. 